Closing up our time here on Overtime, Mark, is a huge story out of the SEC today. The Houston Chronicle reporting that Texas and Oklahoma are looking to join the SEC, leaving the Big 12 today. Expansion is possible, according to this report, probably within the next couple of weeks. What do you make of this, and do you think this is a good move for the league if they were to happen? I think it's amazing. I yeah. mean, uh, Texas should have been in there uh, over Texas and m I think, if you ask me. But these are two-story programs. The rivalry you have against each other is amazing. Uh, and it kind of fits that both of them would leave at the same time. And why not go to the best conference in college football? Like you had said, what you were talking about earlier. It's all based on money. Right. Uh, when, when you look at it, the markets these guys are in are going to uh, really probably where they should be is either in the Big Ten or the SEC. Uh, and I think what happens if they do join the SEC, how they pair off the divisions now, mm. we had talked about some things, is going to be very interesting. Exactly. If they do pair it off, it might be an Auburn going to the East situation. The SEC already has a footprint in the state of Texas with Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. They got it with Houston. Now you get, you'll open up. Austin and Dallas and some of these other areas of, of that state. Of course, Oklahoma is huge. If this does happen, would this be it for the Big 12? These are the two bell cows. Yeah, well, I think we've seen the death of the Big 12 come uh, with the, what, seven touchdown performance in right. the uh, yeah. college football playoff mm -hmm. a couple years ago by Joe Burrow. Yeah. Uh, that was the start of the death knell for the Big 12. Uh, and even though they've had some good teams, uh, they're just not – at the level overall, right. top to bottom, right. of the Big Ten or the SEC. Exactly. This, this will be a story for a very long time. We'll see if the Oklahoma Sooners and Texas Longhorns join the SEC. It will be a land change as far as college sports are concerned, and especially in college football, if they were able to make this move happen. The final thing we'll talk about tonight, Mark, is the last day of the NBA, of the NBA season, last day of all of basketball, was last people. night. 65,000 people outside of the forum wow. to watch the Milwaukee Bucks take game six and the championship behind that man, Giannis Antetokounmpo's 50 points, giving the Bucks their first championship in 50 years. Wow. I mean, look at all those people there. Yeah, you it was, amazing. It was you would, amazing sight. You would think that they're about to have a vote for something with all those people that are out there. <laughs> you know, no, I'm kidding. Um, I, I just think that for all this time, Milwaukee's been uh, an NBA team that not many people thought of. I mean, not many even people knew there was a team in Milwaukee. But you go back to 70-71, Oscar Robinson uh, and Lou Alcindor became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, one of the best teams in NBA history, two of the best players in NBA history. Uh, and now you have Giannis winning an NBA title. Uh, if he can match the player he is in NBA 2K, and I think he did in this, in this playoff yep. series, um, to me it's uh, something that I, uh, I think – People have been waiting for it. It was nice to see him win. Now, for Phoenix, I feel a little bit bad because they have a great fan base, um, and they've been around for a while. They've had their heart broken a number of times, so I feel a little bit bad for them. Final question very quickly. Do you see this as lightning in a bottle, or can they make a repeat next year? Well, I think people thought the same thing with Toronto, and uh, we saw Toronto you know, hasn't been able to sustain that. So it depends who comes back, who leaves. Uh, if they can keep their core, obviously I think they can be around for a little while. Yeah, they have to work some money issues out in order to keep this core. But, yeah, the Brooklyn Nets coming back next year. You got mm -hmm. Clay Thompson yep. and the Warriors, depending on what they do with yeah. their lottery pick and everything else. Right. Where, what does Kawhi, where does Kawhi end up? Does he end up in Miami? Does he stay in L.A.? I think oh, it's my God. Really He's leaving again? Oh, boy. Mean, there, there's talk that he could leave. We'll see. We'll see what all happens. But as of right now, we will celebrate the new <laughs> champions of the – NBA, it like is... Like a soap the, opera over here. <laughs> exactly. The, the Milwaukee Bucks behind that man. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 50 points, 14 rebounds, and named finals MVP. That is it for Overtime this week. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back next Monday night. We'll see you then.